Welcome back guys, it's Kayla. I am back with a meal prep style video. In this video, I wanna show you how to make a really low calorie, high protein meatloaf meal. I'll be sure to give you all the ingredients and macros down below in the description box. Before we get into this recipe, don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to me so you don't miss any videos from me. Honestly, the reason why we love meatloaf is because it has that ketchup sauce on the top. So we are going to start by making the sauce. You just need one tablespoon of brown sugar, six tablespoons of ketchup. I'm using the no sugar added ketchup to save a little bit of calories for me. Don't leave me high and dry. I'm just seasoning it up with some salt and pepper. And I also added some garlic and onion powder. I didn't show it in the beginning of the video, but I also did add some Italian seasoning. I just mixed it up and then adjusted my seasoning to how I liked it. Next is on to the messy part, making the meatloaf. I decided to make meatloaf muffins just because I wanted it to cook up quicker and I wanted to have them easily portioned out per meal. I'm just adding in one egg, about a teaspoon of garlic, so it's about probably one to two cloves, about two tablespoons of whole milk. You can use half, half and half, you can use skim milk, you can use 1% milk, 2% milk, whatever you have on hand. And I'm seasoning it off with some salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and onion powder. Maybe you give me ice and fire. You're chilling in the rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a bit of I'm also chopping up half of a medium onion. Don't leave me in high and dry. I'm using about half of the meatloaf seasoning packet. And I'm just using 20 grams of plain breadcrumbs. I like mixing in all the ingredients first before I add the ground beef, mainly because I just hate touching the ground beef, so I wanna do that the last possible moment. Once I mix that all together, it's time to add the ground beef. I'm just using 91% lean ground beef, but you can use whatever ground beef you want. Just note that if you use higher fat ground beef, it will affect the amount of calories that you are intaking. I'm mixing that up, and then I'm adding two tablespoons of the ketchup mixture. Once it's mixed up, I split it up into eight sections and place it into a muffin tin. I added that into a 375 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Once it came out, I removed all the fat that was coming off the ground beef and I added the ketchup mixture to each of the meatloafs.
I added about half a tablespoon of ketchup per meatloaf. Once I added all the ketchup to the meatloafs, I added it in and lowered the temperatures to 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. I let it cool slightly and then I added it to my to-go containers. Per serving, which is two of the meatloaf muffins, it's only 292 calories. Next, we're making the cauliflower mash. I cooked the vegetables until it was fork tender, so probably about 15 to 20 minutes. You might have to go longer depending on how big the cauliflower are chopped. I'm adding more seasoning and about a tablespoon of butter. I mashed it all up and then I added the cheese. I used 28 grams of cheese, which is one serving. I split this up evenly into four containers and the total calories for this cauliflower mash is only 85 calories. Last, we are making the peas. Now you can go with green beans if you want to have a little less calories. I kept this really simple and I wanted to add flavor to the peas without adding the extra calories by cooking it in some chicken broth. So I just used a couple of tablespoons of water and chicken bouillon powder. I let it steam while I was waiting for the cauliflower. And once it was done, I added a tablespoon of butter and some salt and pepper. You can add any other seasonings that you want to it. This made four servings and the total calories for the peas was only 65. The total for this whole meal is only 442 calories. I like to try to keep my meals under 500 calories so that way I can allot for snacks. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these types of videos and want me to make more meal prep style videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know the meal prep ideas that you want me to make or that you have tried and loved. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.